Hi, Ross here, an expert at all things moving. Today we're going to be talking about a very small but very important detail, your refrigerator. It is really hard to move the refrigerator when you really think about it. Even the lightest ones that are made from the light materials, the modern refrigerators, usually weigh somewhere between 170 to 190 pounds. Agreed, that's pretty heavy. So it is very, very useful to leave that task to moving pros, to a company that comes in and does the whole thing for you. But if you decided to actually do that yourself, save a little buck, and put that refrigerator in your moving truck by yourself, here are five easy steps to do so. Before we move on to those five easy steps on moving the refrigerator out of your house and into your moving truck, a couple of materials and things that you need to have prepared. So get your pen and your piece of paper, and here we go. Moving tip. Furniture sliders or plywood panels. An appliance dolly with straps, furniture blankets, rope, packing tape, measuring tape, comfortable shoes, work gloves for a better grip, and at least two, three reliable people to help you out. Step number one, prepare your fridge for moving. First of all, make sure to clean out all the food and drinks that you have in there. Have them prepared, packed in your boxes or a Donate them to any charity of your choice that is in your neighborhood. Second of all, make sure that you clean all the surfaces and start defrosting the fridge. This is very important because if you keep any humidity in the fridge and then it starts moving, that mildew can really do some damage to your refrigerator and you probably don't want that. And the last but not the least step, make sure to take out all the removable elements out of your fridge. So when being moved, nothing falls down, nothing gets damaged, and most importantly, nobody gets damaged. <laughs> Step number two, plan your refrigerator moving route. It might look super easy to get it out of your house and into your driveway or down the stairs. You might think it's a piece of cake but it really isn't. Make sure that you measure the width and the height of your refrigerator and compare it with all the pathways on your way. Make sure to clear all the doors so moving it will be as non-problematic as it can possibly be. Tip number three, protect your floors when moving a refrigerator. It might be your own private house and you don't really wanna get that security deposit if you are stolen by your landlord. Or it might be just an apartment complex and you don't want any problems from your community board. But in any case, you need to protect your floors when moving a refrigerator. There are a couple of ways to go about this. The first one is a dolly, a rubber wheel dolly that you can put your refrigerator on and just wheel it down to your driveway. If there are any hard pathways on your way, sometimes renting or buying plywood panels or specific cover for floors is very essential. You can rent or buy those at any close Home Depot store or moving company of your choosing. Moving tip. Tip number four, by far the simplest one of them all, how to pack a refrigerator while you're moving. To make sure that nothing happens to it, the process is quite simple. You just close down the refrigerator door, make sure that you put rubber tapes on all parts of the power cord that might be sticking out or might get damaged during the moving, and you just move it. Well, one little thing. If your refrigerator costs more than $5,000 and tells you that you had much, much, much more iced coffee in the morning than you should have, then probably there is a chance that you want to wrap that in a blanket or bubble wrap tip. <laughs> the last tip, tip number five. You probably have your fridge all cleaned out, packed up and ready to go. The last thing that is left is to put it on a dolly and have it transported out and about into your truck. To do so, first, slide the refrigerator some distance away from the wall using the plywood boards. Make sure that you tilt it a little bit 
while it's already wrapped by the blankets and have somebody who's helping you out put a dolly underneath it. Make sure that then you tilt it back very slowly and very carefully and you will be able to take it out of your house by pushing it and getting it down the stairs or wherever you want it to. Make sure that you never tilt the refrigerator more than 45 degrees up or down or you risk losing your balance. Also, keep in mind that by the Department of Transportation regulations, you never can put the refrigerator on its side. It is dangerous and unlawful. Make sure that it gets strapped with a couple of straps. Use some extra ropes in addition to the straps for extra safety. And as always, good luck with your move. Be careful, be attentive, and be on the spot. Moving tip 